With fentanyl overdoses taking a tremendous toll here in the valley, police and politicians have warnings about what they say is the next big thing. It's an animal tranquilizer called xylazine. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne spoke with police today and there's more here in the studio. Kyle. Vanessa, the numbers don't tell the story yet. Uh, police say xylazine has only showed up in four fentanyl deaths, but they say fentanyl started small too. And when the two drugs are combined, Narcan doesn't stop it. And is adding to really the devastation that we are seeing in our communities. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, home in Nevada while Congress is in recess, teaming up with Metro to sound the horn about a new twist on fentanyl deaths. Trank, the street name for xylazine, adds another layer to the ongoing opioid epidemic. But there's just one problem. It is not illegal. Not illegal because veterinarians prescribe it every day, making it so Cortez Masto got the Nevada Cattlemen's Association involved in the fight against fentanyl. Because it is important that the, our veterinarians for large animals still have access to this tranquilizer. This tranquilizer now has a proposed piece of legislation named after it, Senate Bill 993, to prohibit the use of xylazine and make it illegal to divert xylazine for illegal purposes and allow the Drug Enforcement Administration the tools to track and stop this drug getting over the border. A lot of uh, the xylazine is coming from Mexico uh, and coming in, into Mexico from other countries. Most of our illegal narcotics, especially dealing with fentanyl, is coming south of the border with uh, drug trafficking organizations and cartels. Metro's Deputy Chief Nick Farisi says on this side of the border, the numbers are staggering. Since 2020, fentanyl deaths in the valley are up 30 percent. and Metro has seized 136 pounds of fentanyl already this year. Police are busy fighting fentanyl, and this new tranquilizer isn't making it any easier. This is 100 percent preventable. Senator Cortez Masto is involved with multiple drug bills. One she authored to combat drug trafficking online, and another stiffens the penalties for people trafficking and manufacturing fentanyl. Vanessa. Kyle, thank you. The DEA discovered xylazine in almost a quarter of the fentanyl powder seized, along with about 7% of the fentanyl pills seized.